All the generators at work in your power system, and others, use magnetism to separate electrical charges and create the potential difference all of our devices, from air conditioners to zoom lenses, need in order to work. They do this by spinning a magnet inside a coil of wire. The action of the magnetic field on the charges in the wire drives them to opposite sides of the circuit, creating difference in potential, which we measure in volts. But the generators don't have just one continuous wire inside them. There are actually three separate sets of wires inside each generator casing. The wire sets are spaced evenly around the interior of the generator case, or stator as it's called, dividing the 360 degree circle into three 120 degree segments. So, as the magnet rotates, it is separating charges in each set of wires, in turn, in sequence. The potential difference and associated current flow created by the rotating magnet rises and falls as the magnetic field approaches and passes by the wire conductor. That rise and fall can be graphed and shows as a sine wave. With three sets of wires arranged evenly around the casing, there are three separate sine waves generated in each complete rotation. Because of the spacing, each sine wave reaches its peak 120 degrees after the one before. So, why do we bother? Why not just use one wire and make it simpler? Turns out, it's simpler to do it with three sets. Here's why. Reason number one. We can move more energy through three small wires than through one big one. How's that? Well, it turns out, as objects get bigger, they gain internal volume faster than they gain surface area. It's a physics principle called scaling, which I may do one of these videos on soon. The effect of scaling is that bigger objects have a harder time cooling off than smaller ones, because the bigger something gets, the less surface area it has compared to its interior volume. And since the current carrying capacity of a wire is determined by how hot it gets, three small wires with a lot of cooling area can carry more current than one big one. And if those three small wires are themselves made up of many smaller conductors twisted together, they have even more cooling area. It takes up to 25% less material to transmit a given amount of current through three wires than the same current through one. Reason number two. There's a huge mechanical strain placed on the components of a generator or motor as the magnetic field rotates. You know how hard it is to force strong magnets together. Imagine the strain of magnetic interactions thousands of times as strong. By splitting that strain into three parts and spacing them around the casing, the strain, wear, and vibration are reduced. Three-phase machines run more smoothly than single-phase machines. Number three. Motors work because of the interaction between opposing magnetic fields. There's a magnet in the motor and a magnetic field around the conductor bringing power to the motor. The attraction and repulsion between those fields is what makes the motor turn. However, in single phase motors, the magnetic fields just switch back and forth from one side to the other, and that makes single phase motors difficult to get started. They're pulled one way and then the other. Single phase motors usually require some sort of modification to the windings that makes it look like the field is rotating so that the shaft can start rolling. It's done several different ways, but it adds complication to the construction. Motors that operate on three phases get that rotating field as part of the supply. 
The phases arrive 120 degrees apart from each other, so they rotate from the get-go. No modification required. This is the reason we have three phases instead of four, five, or more. Three is the minimum number to give a rotating field for motor starting. More wouldn't help and would cost more. Reason number four. Some customers require DC power for their equipment. Since we deliver AC, it has to be converted to DC. The easiest way to do this is to cut off half of the AC cycle, rectifying is called, resulting in a pulsing DC current. If we cut off three phases, we get a smoother DC current output, more usable by customer's equipment. And reason number five. By combining the three phases in different ways, we can vary the voltage of the delivered energy to match customer requirements. There are a couple of ways to do this. If we connect one end of each phase together, then the voltage between any two phases is a combination of what's in each individual phase. This is called a Y or star connection. As you can see here, the voltage from phase to ground is the difference in potential from that phase to ground. But the voltage from phase to phase is a combination of what's happening in two phases. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as multiplying by two because the phases are separated by 120 degrees, remember? For example, if the rotating magnetic field is creating 120 volts of potential in each phase, the combination of two phases results in 208 volts. The math works out to 1.73 times the voltage in one phase. So, connecting the three phases this way, Y, gives us 120-208 service, or any proportional pairing, depending on the transformer ratio. Now, if we take our three phases and connect them end-to-end -end like this, called a delta connection, the characteristics change. Now, a voltage measurement across phases only looks at one phase. So if there's 120 volts in the phase, there'll be 120 volts phase-to-phase. -phase. However, in this configuration, each line out has two phases connected to it. So the current in that line is a combination of the current in the two phases. Again, not double because of the difference in rotation, but more than in one. 1.73 times one. So, depending on how we connect the three phases, we can get a variety of voltage and current relationships to meet customer needs. Quickly then, a three-phase system saves material, puts less strain on rotating equipment, makes for easier motor starting, smoother DC rectification, and gives us voltage supply flexibility. Quite a package. There's more, of course, but this is a start, and I hope it's helped. Thanks for watching.